Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here. Welcome back to another EVE Online video. And unfortunately, I can't bring you guys uh, any concrete news when it comes to EVE Online. I would love to have some CC updates, maybe a first look at some of the capital changes, things like that would be absolutely awesome. Uh, but it's actually been decently quiet on that front for, for now. I think CCP is working hard on the expansion, getting ready for FanFest and all of that stuff. So I think that's why things are slowing down a little bit. But this is EVE Online, of course. And one thing there's never a shortage of is drama. And so in this video, I want to cover a few uh, topics that have been pretty hot in the, in the last few days uh, and just give my analysis on this. I think a first one, uh, that is pretty major is the carrier changes. Uh, I actually think it's it was dropped at event T that basically carriers will no longer be able to use drones, only the fighters with the new fighter mechanics. And that basically uh, means the end of AFK ratting in Nalsec in a carrier. And a lot of people were quite vocal about that. And um, we can maybe go to the forums for that, what could be of interest to anyone that actually flies a carrier, possibly uh, as, a, as an AFK ratter or any other uh, type of uh, gameplay that they're doing with the carrier, then uh, in the upcoming features uh, and change feedback center, there is a thread that you might want to check out. It's uh, right here, capital Q&A, where CCP Larrikin answers uh, quite a few questions about all of the changes that they're planning to do when it comes to the capital ship. So you've got the E-War immunity that's going to be uh, gone and it's now going to be a sort of E-War resistance. Uh, some of the new modules, uh, the dreadnoughts, the uh, force auxiliaries are being talked about. You've got the new doomsdays and then some miscellaneous stuff as well. But it's not here where basically CCP said that, sorry guys, carriers will no longer be able to use drones and thus you won't be able to afk rat anymore which uh, did cause a little bit of a, a storm uh, amongst uh, the people that actually uh, do that activity in eve online and it may surprise you a little bit but i fully understand the people that say that uh, this is taking away a meaningful gameplay for them who are against the change uh, that uh, won't allow play, uh, carriers to use drones anymore because of the AFK ratting. And uh, the reason for that is, as someone that um, is sort of a miner, you know, I do mine quite a little bit, and I've done this in HiSIC and NullSIC, the experience uh, that I've got from there is that the risk reward is completely out of balance, at least for mining. Uh, at the moment, is it is... To me, it is totally not worth it to go out in Nelsic and mine there when you could get almost as much money from mining uh, in HiSec, but with the Concord protection, of course. And so uh, I actually imagine that if you would then compare the ratting activity in a non-capital ship, in a battleship, for instance, to something like running level four missions or hell, doing incursions that it is also completely out of whack and from that perspective i actually agree that while sure afk ratting in a carrier is probably the most uh, engaging activity neither is mining but it is probably one of the only nullsec activities that you can do that you can work your way up to that is worth it to go out there in Nalsic to do because a carrier can probably uh, run these anomalies at, at around three times the rate of a battleship let's say um, and thus it is an activity that is actually uh, very rewarding but can only be done effectively in Nalsic in a space that you own if you want some security then you'll want the sovereignty as well and from that perspective i actually agree that um, taking this away from the nullsec players is a bad idea if you don't give them another alternative that will allow them to have a better income than other parts of space especially high sec and so from from that perspective i actually agree that i would prefer ccp to um, at first still allow uh, drones to be used or have an alternative for Nullsec to be able to rat at a better rate than what you would um, get in just uh, a battleship. So you should be able to move 
up from that, improve on that. Honestly, a carrier, it's a decent investment in skills. It's a decent investment in ISK compared to a battleship that can run Nullsec anomalies. I've done that as well. Running Nullsec anomalies in a battleship alone, honestly, it's really not that great. Um, and, and comparing that to like running level four missions or uh, to, uh, to running incursions, uh, the income uh, against the risk of having to do it in Nullsec is completely going to be out of whack. And so having that end game of getting into a carrier with great drone skills and then being able to do those anomalies at two, three times the rate of a non-capital uh, ship doing those anomalies, I think is actually uh, something that is a part of the progression in Nullsec and is not overpowered, completely crazy or something that should be disallowed. And as a result, yeah, I actually agree with the people that complain about this change, that complain about the loss of that type of gameplay, uh, of that reward uh, for uh, doing an activity in Nullsec if CCP doesn't provide them with an alternative. Now, it may still be that uh, with the new mechanic, the fighters will actually be able to run these anomalies at a decent clip and that that would somewhat solve the problem but as a miner i also fully understand the joy of being able to do something in a semi afk uh, play style so that it, it's not super intense and there's not too much effort all the time into uh, trying to optimize things that's all done through planning through skilling through investing in your ship and things like that and uh, yeah i sort of agree the loss of AFK carrier ratting could actually be uh, something that would not be a good thing for Nelsic in general. There's already so few reasons to own sovereignty and there are so few activities that are um, more rewarding in Nelsic than activities in other uh, spaces, especially high sick, uh, that uh, it, it would probably not be a good thing in my opinion, of course. So that that's the first one. That was definitely uh, something that... Um, that sparked a few comments and uh, it, you might be surprised a little bit by, by me taking uh, the, the stance that I do uh, that uh, yeah, those guys that complain about it uh, are right in my opinion. Um, when it comes to another controversy, uh, it hasn't played out just yet, but if we go to the dev blogs, uh, it's uh, it's pretty interesting right here. Overlays, it's buyer amnesty and account security. So there's basically a, a dev blog where CCP uh, explains that uh, if you have done RMT, so if you're one of the guilty parties, you've actually bought ISK online somewhere, they're actually um, providing you with the opportunity to get amnesty for that if you come out uh, for it. So you just have to tell them, well, I bought ISK then that much from that website or that source or that character or whatever they'll check your findings against their information and the logs and if it turns out that it's true they won't ban you depending on uh, what you actually did they might take other actions but uh, you're not going to get a perma ban if you actually uh, yeah, basically snitch on whoever you bought the ISK from. There's also, uh, which I didn't know, but apparently it's already uh, in... Um there's a, uh, it's already been uh, introduced quite a while ago. Uh, there is a Plex for Snitches program in EVE Online as well. So if you have information on people that are empty and you uh, give CCP that information, basically uh, they, they get some results from that. I think they'll reward you with, with a Plex or something like that uh, because uh, they do take the, uh, the, the fight against RMT pretty damn secu uh, seriously. Uh, in the dev blog, there's also a little bit about uh, account security and uh, the fact that overlays are not allowed in any form. This is also a little bit controversial, but I don't use any third party software uh, because I only use one account. So it's really not applicable for me. Um, but yeah, the ISK buyer amnesty initiative, uh, it's it's actually being seen by the people that have read this dev blog at first as a major warning because this almost feels like CCP telling the players that, hey guys, we know who's doing it. We actually have a pretty big list of, of uh, characters and accounts that are guilty, that have bought stuff. And uh, we're going to start swinging the ban hammer around any day now. So if you don't want to lose your account, uh, you'd better uh, tell us right now, come clean right now, or uh, it's going to have some serious consequences. So that is, that is of course, basically the, um, 
the, the current read of this dev block. And the question is, of course, is it true? Uh, does CCP indeed have a pretty major case of RMT that they're about to crack? Uh, honestly, I would like to see it. Everyone is probably speculating on who is behind it. Who is the target here? Is it the Iwanese guys? Is it goons? Is it another major alliance that's all of a sudden going to uh, be decapitated by something like this? It's definitely a potential drama right here. Pretty damn interesting. Um, I myself am 100% against RMT. Um, but uh, this, this is definitely interesting. It's, it's very low on content, this dev block. And so a lot of people, myself included, sort of read a bit of a warning uh, in this one uh, that uh, basically tells players that uh, have done the wrong thing, have actually bought ISK, uh, that uh, they'd better come forward now because uh, CCP is uh, going to uh, take some action in the near future for people that have actually done this. Uh, a lot of this is done in the background and so uh, there are of course waves of bans that happen from time to time when CCP uh, basically um, dismantles a whole ring of, uh, of crazy RMTers in the game. Pretty interesting stuff, I'm looking forward to uh, the follow up on all of this as well. But for now that was some more EVE drama, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all next time.